but here we go. So, there we go. Thank you for being patient with me, friends. My mind's running a million miles an hour today. All right, so our learning targets, let's get started because we have a lot of work to do today. Oh, why did it do that? I just clicked on two. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so today we have a lot of learning targets. The first one is I can find the gist of an excerpt of everything you need to know about frogs and other slippery creatures. So today you will work with one person to work on one frog and you're going to work on it together. And then you, and you are going to become the expert for that frog because then later on you're going to switch to a different partner, a partner that has a different frog and you're going to have to share the information you learned about the first frog to be able to answer questions, to help your other friend fill out their paper about the other frog. All right, so it's really important that you do your job today because you are responsible for helping your friend know about your frog. So you're also going to be talking about connections. We did this yesterday. You guys were super good at connections yesterday. You're going to look at the connections between one frog and another, about sentences from one section about one frog to the, the, a different section about that frog. And we are going to work on um, like trying to figure out what is um, the author trying to really get us to understand? Bless you. Our last one is I can use text and images to research in order to answer questions. Now, the question we know we've been looking at is how does where a frog live affect how it looks and acts? Do you think in today's frogs we're going to find that out? Do you think those frogs are going to have something about them that helps them live where they live? For sure. So um today we're and again as just a reminder in your workbook you have this page about frog adaptation and remember you are going to be responsible for writing a paragraph about how frogs use adaptation to, to survive where they live so to be able to do that you're going to need to really focus on today's information that's going to help you accomplish that all right so everybody go ahead and open just to go back to the page that we did yesterday um go ahead and open i think mr Harris just realized she doesn't have hers but 60 what was it again 69 thank you paul mr cole is on the ball today thank you uh, so everybody just take a quick look because ultimately, this is what, oh, this, Elena, we're looking at page 69 in our workbook. Everybody look at page 69 for me. We've already filled out the first two. I'll have to find the one I actually filled out, um, my copy. But, um, oh, why is it not showing? This is weird. It's just a blank screen, my friends. Why, why in the world is my, I'm going to turn it off again and turn it on again and see if it'll show you an actual picture of the page. <laughs> All right, well, just look at the screen. It'll give you uh, enough to know which page we are looking at. The things we are focusing on, what kind of frog is it? What is the adaptation and how does it help it survive? Yesterday we did tree frogs. What do tree frogs have to help them survive? Everybody look, you wrote it down. Everybody's hand should be up, Paxton. They have what? You should just be able to read it out of on it, it. You should have written it in the second box right here. Next to oh, tree frog. You got that tree frog. Robinson? No, that's the last frog. I'm talking about tree frog. Tree frog, the first one. Journey. Huge, sticky fingers. Huge, sticky fingers. Why would they want big, sticky fingers? So they can climb a tree. Why do they want to climb a tree? To hide from predators. Very good. Is it good to have big sticky fingers in their case? Yes. Yes. So that was their adaptation. Yes, their glass frog had what? At now here's the one you guys wanted to tell me so much. Uh, glass frogs, Maxie. What do they have? They have transparent skin. They're transparent. How does that help them to survive? What did you write in the elaboration section? Um, Mr. Uh, Josh. Um, 
very good because they blend in, right? They blend in with their surrounding. The predator can't see them. And then that means the predator can't do what? Eat them. Eat them. And then they survive, right? You don't want to be eaten. All right. So today we have two new frogs, okay? Those two new frogs are going to get added to this list, all right? So they're going to get added to our list. We're not, that's our ultimate goal at the end of today, is to add the two. But first, we have some other things to do. We are going to take an opportunity to do some close reading first. So let's remember what a close reader does before I tell you what pages, because immediately, as soon as I tell you what pages, you guys want to start writing and reading. So let's talk about close reading real quick. Remember that we read, today you're going to read the gist. You're going to look for the gist of your new pages for each section, just like we did with the other pages that we did when we looked for the gist for each little section. So you're going to get, read the chunk. You're going to think about what it's about the gist, and you and your partner are going to write down what you think the gist is, any unusual words, and what you think they mean, just like we always do. Okay? You're going to think about that word, and you're going to try to see if you can figure out what that word means. <laughs> will just be quiet. Fire alarm. You, you, you can it. just mute your sound. You just mute your sound. Yeah.
你是帮我录Yes, finally. I kept on telling myself I had to stop at one point. That's still ringing in my Who wants to see my cat? It's a bella. I'm going to grab the cat from this morning. I can barely even hear with my ears now. I'm in the Google Slides. Is it over? The beeping is, but yes, beeping is, but but yes. the people haven't came back. Yeah. I have my profile picture on Google Slides on Miss Harrison's screen. Yeah, I'm not the L. This is kind of like the time we were all stuck in breakout rooms because they had a fire drill. Yeah, nobody knew either. I'm the L on the Google Slides. I'm the cat face on the Google Slides. I'm not the existing per person on the Google Slides. Because <laughs> I'm not on the Google Slides. Thank you. We're still outside. This is wasted most of our lesson. Yes, lots of it. I guess it's not wasting because if it, yeah, because if there if there were actual fires, then guys, it's still recording. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hello. They're having a fire drill, so I think and if somebody views it, then they're good. And they'll be fine. Yeah. Do you Just think it's okay that we're chat. talking? What? Do you think it's okay chat. that we're talking? Yeah. Yeah, because nobody's here. They did type in the chat that we're that there would be a fire drill. You do the right thing. Even it did if say that though. Hmm. Even if they're not there, it's still the right thing. This just appeared. The the fighter drill thing. It, it looked like yeah, it just it appeared, yeah, appeared, but it didn't. Let's do the right thing with the teacher. Yeah. Okay. Hi, friends. We're back. No, no, they got to hear the fire alarm. That way, they could uh, totally experience the uh, really cool so experience. Nice. No, no, no. no. Thanks for hanging in there. Sorry about that. Not much I could do to avoid that. All right. Okay. Are we? I'm gonna wait for the rest of my friends to file in, and then we will continue. All right. Just no. Just don't worry about it. Okay. 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 Woo! All right, I need us to get our brains back to what we were talking about. So here we are. Thank you, friends at, at home for, oh, our voices are off. All right, so class readers, we were just talking about looking for words that we didn't know, trying to figure them out. You have some options, read around, like we figured out canopy, what canopy meant by reading the following sentence than when we had it last time. So you can read around the sentence. You can look for af uh, you can look for affixes. Um, Miss Aubin, Mr. Charlie Van Rickley just got let in. You might want to fill him in on what was going on. Um, so affixes, um, looking for prefixes and looking for suffixes. Evie, where's your materials? Okay, so why don't you at least get your book out for me? All right, and you can go next year. Oh, well, I guess, um, oh, you're right, but I just hit the, I, oh, there it is again. Here, let me hit, 
hopefully that'll work. Um, looking at the root word, yesterday we um, had some words that um, we like had the word venom, right? Uh, or venomous. And what word would be our base word for that? What would it be, Abby? Venom is so venomous. O U S helps is an ending, a suffix that helps us understand it's something that has that. So venomous has venom, right? So we're going to go back to the text today to find all of our answers. We're going to read really carefully today. And so you are going to have two frogs. I'm going to show you the two frogs that we're going to work on today. First one, don't be turning any pages quite yet. Um, so I have the Amazon horn frog. So half of you will become experts for that one for today. And the other half will be um, for the, um, the water holding frog, OK? Now remember, I know it's been a while since we, I gave the instructions at the beginning of class because we had a little interruption there. But your job is going to be to fill out some pages, fill out some work. I'll tell you what pages that is in a moment and which frog you are in a moment. And you and a partner are going to become experts on, you're going to write some papers here. So it's finding the gist and unfamiliar vocabulary. So one is for the Amazon horn frog, one is for the water holding frog. And if you weren't sure, you might be able to find some of your words in the glossary. You also, um, we can also use our dictionary. Well, mm -hmm. so we also have our, um, your dictionary available to you. Um, my friends at home, we are going to put you in breakout groups. So you will have a partner to work through and you will, I will ask you to unmute when it comes time to be in the, in the breakout room. And I need you guys to work together with it. And then when we do the next breakout group, you'll, um, we'll make sure that we put you with a different kind of person, a different kind of frog so that you can um, make sure that you get both experiences. So what's gonna happen here is you are gonna dig deeper into this question, how does where a frog live affects how it looks or acts? So the pages 20 to 21 are gonna be the Amazon horn frog. Pages 36, 37 are the water holding frog. And you are going to work on these the page that you're assigned and i'll make sure you get which ones they are in the workbook and uh we're going to give it you're um, we're going to give it about I'm looking at the clock because we have to exchange information with our other person so it's probably i'm probably going to give about 15 minutes maybe um but i'm going to see how it goes i'm going to see how everybody's doing but it, you really it's really important that you finish your page so that when you get together with your other partner that has the other frog, you can exchange information. What happens if one person doesn't do their job, Haley? What would happen if they don't fill out their their page and you are their partner later? How's that going? How's that going to make you feel? Okay, so Haley said if she she had her page yeah. filled out and her partner did not, it would make her. Saying you don't want to be over her page today. I probably didn't hit. Here, she see. does want some. Let me see. I think she's ordering four yogurt per page. I. Um, oh, this is Tuesday. Hold on. Yeah. Is that true? Four. Yep. Four. And I four. I and put four in, seven. but I don't. Sorry, my friends. So, um, yeah. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I put that in there. I understand. It doesn't matter, though. Does it matter that you're seeing that? No, it doesn't matter. All right. Just having to wait. There was, I think I didn't hit enter because there was a number there, but not, I don't know. I'm still in the box, I guess. All right. Sorry about that, friends. So you, so Haley was saying if she does her work and her partner that she ends up with doesn't have their work done, it's going to be a real bummer because she's going to feel like she did her half and that she's going to have to do the other person's work to make sure she gets her work done. And we don't want anybody to feel like that. Okay. All right. So this is what um, 
So Jensen, do you have a question? I have two questions. I can't hear you, sweetie. I, I have see two you're questions. Muted, but I can't hear you. Oh, you know why? Because my sound is off from yesterday. Sorry. Try again, Jensen. I, I can hear you now. I have two questions. Okay. So first, what book is this in? So you're going to do, you're going to, I'll tell you which pages to do in your workbook, but it comes from your frog book. Your, those pages that I showed you with the uh, Amazon horn frog and the, yep, that one right there. Yep. And your second question. Where do we write our paragraph in? Okay. You're not writing your paragraph. You're writing the gist. Today is the gist. Okay. So my remote friends, I'm going to have to tell separately so that um, you can know exactly who your partners are and which frog you are, because I'm gonna have to cross contaminate you later for um, being able to be um, the other frog. So you just hold that thought, Mr. Jensen, and I'll tell you exactly what pages, okay? All right, so in here, okay, so I'm missing, oh, so I'm missing, oh, that's gonna set off, I'll set my choices a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna have this side of the room. So hold on, my friend. And then this side of the room over here is going to have the Amazon horn frog. So everything on this side of the room, open the page 20 and 21. Okay, um, Mr. Cole, you are actually going to pretend to be on this side of the room. And Mr. Charlie, you're also going to pretend to be on the side of the room, okay? All right, so let me say friends on the side of the room. I gotta make sure I got it for that either. So this side of the room, you are, oh, good job, trying to hold it. So you are with your box to page 36 and 37. And look, look. And this is the, yep, front of our page. So you are the water holding frog. So 31 and 36 to 37. For this side, you guys are the Amazon horn frog. This side is the water holding frog. Okay. Wow. Now, do you have to find your correct page now in your other book? So, in your other book, you are going to look at page 92 and 93. So, everybody open their workbook to 92, and, and everybody at home can do that already. 92, 93. I haven't told you which frog you are yet, but hold this up. But you can find 92, 93. Because those are both the ones we need. All right. The one on the left that says Amazon horn frog. Do you see page 92 is the Amazon horn frog? It tells you where the in the text where your section is. So it says beginning at famed for its and ending at small dinner plate. So you're going to find that part on your page, on your froggy page. And you are going to write what is you're going to read it and you're going to say what is it mostly about did they give you a lot of room on that page to write the gist. Isabella are you finding it 92 and 93 this is the pages you're looking for so they don't give you a lot of room for the gist, do they. You have to be able to write a pretty short sentence and with your with you know and, and maybe not big writing unfamiliar vocabulary. I should, you should try to find at least one word per section that you think somebody might have a trouble knowing what it is, or you're having trouble knowing what it is. And then you're going to write what you think it means. And if you have to look in the dictionary, that's okay. You'll find somebody around you who's got a dictionary and you can try looking it up. Where else could you try looking it up besides the dictionary? Lila? The glossary. Very good. So if the glossary of your frog book might be helpful as well. All right, so the oh, Amazon horn frog, you're going to have page 92. My friends over here who are doing the water holding frog, you are doing page 93. So you'll notice that you have the same thing. Oh, and that's not what I, that's, wait, hold on, is that right? Nope. I am on the wrong page. Sorry, that's, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself, I believe. Is that, or is that the right one? Ah, sorry, friends. Oh, I should have, I should just use my own pieces of paper. And for, no, 92, 93, that's what it is. All right, that's four. Thank you for bearing with me with my, trying to figure things out. Oh, uh, yep, not, okay, so, sorry. Yep, so, 
page 93, they have it written a little bit different. They have the different sections listed. And so it's, the water holding frog has those drop, uh, those little droplets, right? Um, next to the text, those little water droplets. So they will help you find where you need to be on this page, okay? Where you, which section we're talking about. All right. So this is what I need you to do. Okay, now time wise, things got a little messy. So we're gonna go, well, I'll, I'll probably give you about at least 10 minutes, if not 15. We'll see how everybody is at 10. And I'll ask how much more time you need after that. Friends at home, just bear with me for another second. Everybody here, do you know what your job is? Okay, give me a thumbs up if you know what your job is. Okay, so you know which frog you are? Do you know which page you need to fill out? Okay, and you are. I would like you to work with a. I would like you to work with a partner so we can get it done faster. So if you're on this side of the room, you're going to find. And if you can do a group of three for now, but when we do partners the next time, you're only going to have to have a partner of one because you're going to share that information. Do you want to do the break? Oh, you can. Oh my my gosh, that's great. We just need to make sure we tell them which um, frog to do. Two. Uh, that would be great. Yes. Miss Harrison, which frog am I? Okay, yep, Haley, that, that, you're right there. So Mrs. Aubin is going to make out the breakout groups. And if you put just two in each, and then I can tell you which, and then we can just assign frog. I'll do it. Can you do two? Um, do you want to tell them? Perfect, perfect. Okay, so Mrs. Aubin is going in the other room. She's going to put you in a breakout group, Haley, and she'll tell and everybody, and she'll tell you which frog you are. Okay, and, and you guys are going to work together. Do you all have page 92, 93 ready? Okay, Charlie, did you hear that? Charlie Van Rickley, do you know where page? Perfect, awesome. All right, Jensen, all right, listen to Mrs. Aubin. All right, she's going to talk. I can't hear you because. What? What'd she say? What'd you say, Ms. Harrison? Hi guys, I'm here. I wanted her to stop sharing so I could see you guys. So I am going to give you either the glass, or not the glass frog, the water holding frog or the Amazon horned frog. So here's what we're gonna do. Just, we still have Charlie here. All right, you're gonna be in partners. So let's do Ben and Haley. You're gonna be partners. You're gonna do the water holding frog. Okay, and then we'll do Charlie and Isabella. You guys will be the Amazon horn frog. And then we'll have um, Jensen and Leo. And you guys will be the water holding frog, Astria and Logan. Are you, you guys will be the Amazon horned frog. And Marin, I'm going to add you with Isabella and Charlie. And so you'll be the Amazon horned frog. Okay, is there anyone I missed? Raise your hand if I missed you or you did not hear what frog you're going to be doing. So go ahead and get your frog book. And I know Marvin, yours is online. And Miss Sobin. Yes. Oh, uh, what page is the water holding frog on? So what could you use to find that? What do we use to find things like that? It's called the table of what? Look at what I'm showing you. The table of contents, right?
Are you still there, my dear? It's, can you find it? I can run. All right. Okay, so I know you're not done. It was hard work, but we need, I need to just really quickly, briefly talk about something because some of you are just rephrasing the heading into a sentence, er, into a phrase that's already there. So I just really want to quickly take a moment to, ver to verify something for you, okay? Just for a second. So, and then I'm going to let you, then we'll talk about, so we'll have to work on this um, next, uh, on Monday again, but I just want you to look right here. So when we had these sections, this is my water holding frog, if you are a water holding frog. So it says, where does it live? Was the paragraph mostly actually about the place that the frog lived? No, it was only one little tiny sentence, wasn't it? It lives in Australia. That's really not the gist necessarily of that section. It was really about the fact that they do what? They go underground to survive the dry season, right? That's really the main idea there, okay? Storing water. Some of you said, said how it stores water. Well, there was more to it than that, right? There's more to it. How are they, what is it going on? Living well actually had to do more with people than it had to do with the frog itself, right? So I want you guys to think about what sentence. And this one was also, um, so this one was kind of hard because I noticed some people writing this. It says egg laying and some people said how they lay eggs. Is that actually telling me any information? No, that is not the gist. The gist is the information the paragraph is giving. You can't just say how the how it lays eggs. How does it lay eggs? You need a sentence to explain that. This is your point of your note catchers, friends. You need information on here because you're going to share it and teach it to the other frog people, the people that have a frog that's different than yours. Same thing here when it said enor it's fa famed for its so on. It's a bit small as as big as a small dinner plate. Think about what the gist was mostly about. It's about the fact that the frog is pretty big, isn't it? It's very, it's, it's fairly large. All right. The enormous gape. What was that whole section really about? Its mouth is very big. It's very wide. It's very large. That's what kind of thing we're looking for here. All right. Okay. So I know that you're not finished. We'll uh, have, definitely don't freak out. We'll have some more time on Monday to complete this and to share information with our other um, friends. All right, so no worries there. Thank you. Uh, I don't know about Mrs. Aubin's group, but I know my group, uh, most of everybody worked really hard. Thank Mrs. Aubin is telling me, good job. All right, my friends. Okay, thanks for that good work ethic, and I will see you on either OG or math or next Monday. Bye! See you guys later.